Hello, everyone. I've been invited by the Information Labs to uh, comment a little bit about uh, the so-called Brussels effect. Above all, the Brussels effect is a political statement that comes from uh, European EU institutions to declare, to manifest that uh, platforms can be subject to uh, democratic scrutiny, democratic regulation. At least this is the broad statement uh, that we always find within the context of the explanations by European institutions around the Digital Services Act, which is the main focus or the main pillar of the Brussels effect at this, at this point. I would also say that from a more specific perspective and looking into the 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 the, the impact of the of the Brussels effect beyond far beyond the borders of the European Union you may find first of all a first manifestation of the Brussels effect in the fact that uh, implementing uh, putting in practice adapting uh, platforms to the uh, obligations of the Digital Services Act requires a significant investment, which means that some of the features, some of the new um, elements that platforms will, will use, particularly to moderate content, will not only incorporate it to the services that they provide within the European Union, but also Perhaps, in order to apply economies of scale, this may also be applied beyond and at the global level. The second thing, which is perhaps a little bit more specific, even more specific, is the fact that the DSA incorporates the possibility for European authorities to issue orders to platforms to deal, to take down certain pieces of illegal content. These may also have an impact beyond the borders of the European Union. Uh, platforms may decide to also to apply these uh, provision at the global level. And here, what is also important to underscore is the fact that these, these orders in many cases may come from EU member states, not the European Union as a as as a as a federation, let's say, uh, and therefore this means that one decision taken by one member state regarding the legality or illegality of a piece of content may affect the availability of that piece of content at the global level. And the third element that I think is very important is the fact that not only certain countries, for example, Brazil or India, are looking into the experience of the DSA and the European Union as a model to follow in order to uh, adopt their own rules regarding platform regulation. It is also that European institution representatives from the European Union are promoting and are telling uh, authorities beyond the European Union that the DSA is a good idea, it's a good source of inspiration uh, for them in order to adopt their own regulations in the field of um, platform regulation. Um, the problem here is that the checks and balances and the institutional framework that facilitates the EU, the implementation of uh, the DSA at the EU level, is not the same or does not necessarily exist in other parts of the world, in other uh, countries that might be authoritarian or semi-authoritarian. And also the problem is that in some cases there are misunderstandings with regards to what the DSA says or what the DSA doesn't say. And for example, the idea, the mixing of the idea of responsibility and liability uh, that both appear within the context of the DSA, sometimes, as I said, these two concepts that are properly separated within the context of the DSA are not properly separated in proposals that we have seen in other in other parts of the world, for example, the Digital India Act proposal uh, in India. And therefore, I believe that the DSA contains very interesting elements. The DSA and the European model has some components that can be definitely exported for a better regulation of platforms, but it's also very important to be aware of the fact that it is not about the law. It is not only about the law, it is also about having a proper institutional system in place, and it is also about exporting a good understanding of what European laws say and what European laws don't say, and also the way the connection 
between legislation and some values, particularly in the field of human rights, that can be found in Europe, but not in other parts of the world. Thank you very much.